Welcome back to another video editing tutorial with the free software Caden Live. In this video, I just want to show you a couple uh, cool resources uh, that you might not have been aware of in Caden Live. Uh, the first thing is, uh, let's say we have a video clip. Let's grab in, I'll just go add clip, and let's bring in one of these ones we've used before, like the cyclist video. And um, so we'll just click here, uh, click here to zoom in. So this video doesn't have any audio. So let's say we wanted to put in like a sound effect at a certain point in this video, like when he's like grabbing the bike or right when he's about to ride off. So if we wanted like a, uh, I don't know what the sound would be, but instead of going, we can go to like freesound.org or we can go f record our own sound, but we can find some online. But also Caden Live has built in options. If we go to project, we can go to online resources right here. So under project, click on online resources it brings up this dialog box i think we can also do it by clicking this triangle here yeah and then we, we go to online resources and so there's a couple different uh, as of the recording of this video there's three different options we can search for clip art which is going to be like vector graphics and like just still pictures of usually like cartoony looking pictures we can do uh, archive.org video library and any of these places we can just go to directly as well um, well, this clip art is a collection of places, I think. And then there's free sound audio library. And so uh, so if we, if we want to find a sound effect for this, we could even type, we could even find music. If we just type in music or maybe we type in jazz. If we want a certain type of music, it brings up all these different options for, for files. And it says here, so this is, the duration of this is 15 seconds long. Uh, there's a couple different ones here. This one's... Uh, three and a half seconds long. This is more jazz. So let's do this 15 second one. So we can actually click preview to listen to it and see what it sounds like. Cool. So if we like that, we can actually just click import. And it says, where do you want to save it on your computer? We'll say save it under music. We'll call it, yeah, morejazzguitar.mp3. Click save. And then it just is right there on our computer. It actually downloads it and saves it and brings it into our as a resource we can use in our project bin. That's pretty cool, huh? And then we can just drag it down, and now we have this music we can play uh, in our project. Pretty cool, huh? And then if we wanted something too, we can grab, if we want to play with green screen, or, for example, we can go to, back to the online resources. We can go down to... Um, well, we can go to the video, yeah, video library. We can just type in green screen. Maybe we want a, a video that has green screen. We click search, and it has all these different options. Now, these we can't preview, at least not within here, to look at it like this north. Uh, I'm not sure which was, what do we got here. We'll find one that we think might be like pixie green screen. It tells a little bit about it. And then we have all these different options for how we can import it. It can be... Uh, uh, Flash, MPEG, OGGs, we got these different options. And also has the license down here. So this is, um, we have to provide attribution to the person that created it, uh, which it'll say, I'm not sure where it says it. We can go to the website to find out. Um, and we cannot use it for commercial purposes, and it's under a share-alike license. But it, it, they have different licenses, so they'll, they'll tell you. And in fact, that, we should have looked at that one that we used, that, j that jazz here. Oops. Jazz search. We'll go back to find the one that we used. So that one was under Creative Commons Zero. So it's just um, very, very open. We can use it for commercial purposes. Uh, no attribution required. But different ones have different. So this is attribution, non-commercial. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Creative Commons licenses, um, I have I made a video about that, so you can check that out and learn about the different license types. But just make sure you always understand. Just because you can download something off the internet doesn't mean it's completely free to use for any purpose. You always have to check with what the uh, the author or the creator uh, that has allowed for those purposes to be used for. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, so we go to clip art. Let's let's look at clip art, and we don't want to search jazz on clip art. We want to search whatever we want to do. Maybe we want to do. Uh, oh, so it did jazz actually. I don't know. We can do like hat hat. And uh, so it searches, finds all these different things for hat, and then we can go through and look. And we can look at the, this is a public domain, police stop. So we can be like, okay. And if we click the, if we follow the link, it'll actually bring it up in the web browser, and we can look and see, oh, this is what it looks like. 
and then we can just download it from here or we could download it we can just click download uh, import here and it'll say where do you want to save it maybe we'll put it under our uh, pictures folder call it please stop and this is an SVG image so now it's there it's brought in and now we can bring it in and we could either have it be as part of our video we can just play it mm, we can't see it because it's a black background or we can overlay it over top here da -da -da. So now we've got like this overlay. <laughs>